Whenever the check system light is illuminated, press the menu button until the diagnostics menu is displayed. The diagnostic display rotates between the water sensor, air sensor, main software revision, and local display software revision unconditionally. All other diagnostic display items are dependent on various pieces of equipment being enabled. Press the right arrow button to access the menu. If the chlorinator is enabled, cell voltage, cell amperage, cell temperature, and instant salt level will be displayed. Press the plus or minus button to switch the cell polarity. The system will take 15 seconds to switch polarity. Press the right arrow button. Instant salt will be displayed. Press the plus button to save the instant salt level if desired. This will update the memory and load the instant salt level into the average salt level. Press the right arrow button. If chemistry sensing is enabled, pH and ORP levels and status will be displayed. The ProLogic will refer to these levels to determine how much chlorine to generate to control ORP and how much CO2 or acid to dispense to control pH. Press the right arrow button. If the chlorinator is enabled, flow switch is displayed. If the filter pump is running and the flow switch is closed, then flow will be displayed. If the filter pump is running and the flow switch is open, then no flow will be displayed. Press the right arrow button. If the chlorinator is enabled, cell temp sensor and turbo cell temperature is displayed. Press the right arrow button. Water sensor and water temperature will be displayed. Press the right arrow button. Air sensor and air temperature will be displayed. Press the right arrow button. Continued pressing of the right arrow will rotate through the main software revision of the ProLogic, the local display software revision, and the software revisions of any optional accessories connected to the ProLogic. Pressing the service button once will put the system in the service mode. When in the service mode, all automatic functions are disabled. All outputs can be turned on or off manually from the local display only. All outputs can only be turned off from any remote displays. The red service LED will illuminate and the ProLogic will remain in the service mode until manually taken out of service mode. Pressing the service button a second time will place the ProLogic in the service timed mode. The ProLogic will stay in the service mode for three hours and then automatically switch back to automatic mode. The red service LED will flash and the time remaining will be displayed. Pressing the service button a third time will place the ProLogic back in the automatic mode. 